birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Sybil, happy birthday to you. Birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Sybil, happy birthday to you. Hey Miss Sybil, just want to wish you a very happy 90th birthday. That's just a marvelous achievement that God's given you such a blessing, and you're a blessing to us. Happy birthday, Sybil. Miss Sybil, we uh, certainly wish you a happy 90th birthday. Hope it goes well for you, and we're so glad to have you here as a part of our church. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Sybil, happy birthday to you. Hooray, 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 today, today's your birthday, it's not the pickles or the pears, it's not the beavers or the bears. Hooray, 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 today, today's your birthday. Happy birthday, Sybil, Woo love you. Happy birthday, Miss Sybil, hope your next nine years is as good as the first nine. We love you, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey Sybil, happy birthday. I just want to say that you're such an inspiration to me and you're just a beautiful lady and I just appreciate you so much and I just hope you have a wonderful birthday. Hey Sybil, happy birthday. We go back a few years of course and uh, you're just like a second mom to me and uh, I know Dad and Glenn were close and uh, but uh, just want to thank you for, for all you've done and will continue to do and uh, I just love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mimi. Happy birthday, Mimi. Happy birthday, Mimi. Sybil, Roy, and I think you are an amazing woman. And we want to wish you a very, very happy 90th birthday. And I just want to thank you. Anytime I have ever wanted a recipe, for anything. I think you're an amazing cook. You've always gotten it for me. And I do appreciate that. I use a lot of your recipes. We love you and hope you have many, many more happy birthdays. Happy birthday, Sybil. We really do love you and you've really meant a lot to our family. Not only to John and myself, but mom and dad too. Sybil, we love you. You've become like a a second mom since we lost Opal, but we want you to know how much you mean to us and how much you're loved. And we hope you have 90 more years, darling. <laughs> Keep hitting those golf balls. We love you. Miss Sybil, I can't even begin to tell you how much I love you, how much I appreciate you. You are a sweet, sweet inspiration. I am so glad to have you in fourth grade Sunday school with me. After all those years of working together in first grade, I was lost without you when I went to first. So thank you, Miss Sybil, for all you do for the children and all you continue to do for me. You are simply the best. I love you, Miss Sybil. Happy, happy birthday. Miss Sybil, it's so good to have a friend such as you are fine lady, and you take care of the records when I'm not there, and I just love you so much. Happy 90th birthday. Happy birthday, Sybil. It's, it's been nice knowing you over the years, and we are going to wish you a happy birthday 10 years from now on your, on your century mark, which, where you going, you're going to go past that, and we are just proud to have you around us. Happy birthday, Sybil. <laughs> Hello, Sybil. I wish you a happy 90th anniversary, uh, <laughs> birthday. And uh, we were talking this morning, at, uh, or this afternoon at the table, uh, about our old times at uh, the old church, Second Baptist, and our bowling team, our golfing team, and how long it's been since we had those teams and wish we'd be, be able or could uh, have some more. But uh, we do wish you a, a happy birthday and hope you have many more. Happy birthday, Sybil. 
you a happy 90th birthday, and I'll tell you what we need to do. Either we need to go count some money, or either go to the golf course. One of the two. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, we'll do it. Okay. Anyway, I hope you have a great one. And Miss Sybil, I want you to know, I want you to have a very happy birthday. Thank you. And Thank know you. that we love you. Mm -hmm. And that we might make another trip to Camp Hawkins one day. Happy 90th birthday, Sybil. You're amazing. And I hope you have lots more. Sybil is my former wife. I want to wish you a happy 90th birthday also. <laughs> and maybe we can do another play together. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm Deanna Wallace. I'm so blessed to know Sybil and know some of her family. And I'm excited to celebrate her 90th birthday. Happy birthday, Sybil. Sybil, have a wonderful birthday. It's hard to believe that you're 90 years old because you are so young in spirit. Love you and love what you do for our church. Hey, Sybil, I want to congratulate you on a great milestone in 90 years. Most of us are not going to make it that far. But you have lived a life well beyond age. You've done tremendous things with your life and serving the Lord through Second Baptist and McDonough Road and other places over the years. And it's just been a pleasure to work with you and to know you and to serve with you and to be your neighbor for a while. And I want to congratulate you and wish you a very happy birthday. Happy 90th birthday. We love you so much. We have so many fond memories of you. And we uh, appreciate the day that you lied and said you were from Smithville, Tennessee, and came and saw me in McMinnville, Tennessee. And uh, part of that contention that brought me here to uh, McDonough Road to make it the greatest part of my life. And Sybil, we love you. I, I just think you're awesome. And um, when I grow up, I want to be just like you. <laughs> and um, just keep doing what you're doing. Um, just all the all the hard work, the walking, the golfing, whatever you're using. Drama. For, drama. <laughs> whatever you're using for like facial cream, it's working. So just keep keep it up. Um, we love you very much and happy birthday. Sorry we couldn't be here. Happy birthday. We love you. Happy birthday, Sybil. I just want to tell you that you were such a blessing to me right after I came to the church and I went to the first women's retreat. We had such a good long walk and you told me all about your family and um, I could just see the love of Jesus in you and I just appreciate very much who you are and who you continue to be to us and to others in our church. Happy birthday, Miss Sybil. Love you very much. I enjoyed the tour you gave me that day. I came to look at your trees and we walked around the house and uh, looked at some pictures and discussed your husband and your children and uh, had a really good time. Love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Bye-bye. Happy birthday, Sybil. I love you. You have blessed Jerry and I as a couple, and you have blessed me individually, and I will be forever grateful for you. You've been a part of my life for over 43 years, and you have been a blessing. It is scriptural that Jerry and I should honor you, and we do, and I hope that you feel honored. I pray that you feel honored. It is also scriptural that we should learn from you, we should seek your advice, and we have done this on so many occasions. Uh, you are an example of how a woman should live, how she should be a good wife and a good mother, and you have taught me many things. I love you, and I wish you the very best. Mother, just a word on your day, this great celebration of your 90th birthday. Thank you, congratulations, and thank you so much for being my mother for nearly 65 years. Uh, you've been an inspiration to me in both good times and bad a shining beacon in times of darkness in my life, as well as being there to celebrate the, the tribes. So here's the best for you, and many, many more. I love you. Hey, Miss Sybil, I love you so much. You've been such an inspiration to our family, and you've always been there for us. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Love you much. Happy birthday, Sybil. Happy birthday, Sybil. Happy birthday, Sybil. Happy birthday, Sybil. Happy 90th. Happy birthday. We love you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Sybil, happy birthday to you. We love you, we love, love you, Sybil. Sybil, it is such a pleasure wishing you happy birthday, I have such fond memories of you and I playing golf, and how good you are, and we just love you to death. God bless you and happy birthday. Happy birthday, Miss Sybil. 
Happy 90th birthday, birthday Miss Sybil, from your third graders. Happy birthday, Sybil. I cannot believe that you are 90. I've always said I want to be just like Sybil when I grow up. Anyway, Sybil, you're just a joy to be around, and we just love your enthusiasm that you have for life and your positive attitude, and, and you're just an example for all of us. And you're just a dear friend, and you're not only beautiful on the outside, but on the inside. And, and um, we just want to wish you the best birthday ever. Love you, Miss Sybil. Uh, I'm Deanna Wallace. I'm so blessed to know Sybil and know some of her family, and I'm excited to celebrate her 90th birthday. Happy birthday, Sybil. Happy birthday, Miss Sybil. I am so thankful that I've had an opportunity to get to know you and love you and be loved by you. I think that you are wonderful, and I just thank God for you so many times during the week and during my life. We love you. Sybil, you are a jewel, and your faithfulness is such an encouragement. Happy birthday, and uh, God bless you very much. Happy birthday, Miss Sybil, and many more. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sybil. I'm so excited for you. We love you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Miss Sybil. Sybil. We love you. Yes, we do. Hey, Miss Sybil. I love you so much. You are my inspiration. You are such a living testimony to what life should be, and I love you, and happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sybil. We love you. Happy 90th birthday, Miss Sybil. Happy birthday, Miss Sybil. I love you very much. Love you, Miss Sybil. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Miss Sybil. Love you. Happy birthday, Miss Elliot. It's so happy to, we're so happy to have you and uh, blessed to have you around so long. We hope you're around another 90 years. We love you and we will see you soon. Happy birthday. I am so glad to be a part of your 90th birthday. I, you have been such an inspiration and I love you very much and I hope you many more birthdays. Happy birthday. Hey Miss Sybil, happy 90th birthday and I hope you have many, many more. Thanks for being such a blessing to me. Hey Sybil, I just want to wish you happy 90th birthday. You know, we've known you for 30 years and you've just been an inspiration in how you've stayed involved and active. And I just want to let you know that I admire you so much and I love you. Happy birthday. Okay. Happy 90th birthday, Sybil. We love you. Well, I join a host of other people who you have inspired through the years and who've had a lot of fun in preparing for this special occasion to celebrate your 90th birthday. You're among a few people who've reached this milestone in life. But I know of no one who has reached it at a, a better pace, nor has come to this place in life where they are as in good of health and uh, involved as much as you are. We wish you a very happy 90th birthday. We love you very much and look forward to years to come. Sybil, I'm sitting here in Daddy's office videotaping a greeting for your 90th birthday. I remember when I first met you. Mother was working at Second Baptist Church, and when I would come to visit in the summertime, if I wanted to have the car for the day, I would need to take her to church in the morning and pick her up in the afternoon. It was a Monday morning, and when I took her to church, you, as usual, came to count money. I met you, and I immediately thought what a wonderful lovely, kind person you were, never realizing the twists and turns that our lives would take and that 20-some-odd uh, years later we would be so intersected that we would be in the same family. 
I don't know how I can adequately say in words, and believe me, I'm rare, rarely at a loss for words, but I don't know how I can really convey how much you mean to me. I hope I don't cry, but you know that too, so, but I'm not a pretty crier, so I'll, I'll try not to. You have been such a bright and shining light in my life. You have been such a gift to our family. When you and Daddy started dating and then when you got married, I think that, that we all wondered if the relationship would change, if we would be as welcome to come anytime we wanted to um, into your home. And you quickly put that matter to rest. You are so hospitable. You have been great to our family. You've had this whole crew over so many times for dinner, for games, for just talking. I mean, it, it's incredible. I know you do that for a lot of people, but for our family, we appreciate it so much. Not only that, but you gave Daddy 12 incredibly happy years at the end of his life. You two traveled, you did things together, and he was so full of life up until the day he died. And for that alone, I would always be in your debt. But beyond that, personally, you've been a second mom to me, you've been a friend, you've been so kind, you've been so gracious, you've loved me, even through all my faults, you still love me, and I appreciate that so much. When I'm with you, whether we're in Sanibel or Myrtle Beach, or whether I'm visiting in Rail, we just enjoy being together. Whether we're just, whether we're sitting there reading, or watching game shows, or cross-stitching, or really just doing nothing but going to visit somebody in the nursing home or in the hospital or going to the craft store to buy something at Joann's that I really don't need, but I can always find something there. It's just fun to be with you. You have just added a dimension to my life that I could never have imagined would have existed after my mother passed away. Rick and I love you so much, and we enjoy all the time that we spend with you. We just appreciate um, how marvelous you've been to us all. And I don't know what else there is to say. I just thank you for being my super special Sybil. I love you. Hey Sybil. Well here it is. It's a winter wonderland out here. And it's a good time to make a video. So I just wanted to thank you so much for being our mom and taking care of us and taking care of dad especially uh, when when our natural mom died uh, he was really really in a bad way and you came along at the perfect time to take care of him and take care of us too and so I just thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that and I just want to let you know that we're here and and any <clears throat> anything you ever need or you need to let me know so you take care and I'll talk to you later thanks bye hi Sybil I uh, don't know where to begin uh, what you did for my father was incredible and it was something he needed at the time uh, he was not having a good time in life. He was semi-depressed, I, I believe. I didn't have a good relationship with him. And, and uh, when you came along, it's just something he just really needed. And I'm grateful to you for that. It's something that it's hard to explain, you know, what a person does for another person and how it changes things. But it, it, what you changed in him was um, incredible and it filled this void that that he just uh, after he lost Janice 
he just had no direction and he didn't really relate to us very well and after you came along my relationship with my dad it increased fivefold, tenfold. I would play pool with him, um, and I enjoyed it so much. And and before, I just didn't really have much of a relationship with him for I don't know many years. And you changed all that, and I appreciate it. So other things you do, uh, I've got to say right off the bat that that you always welcome people in your home, and I can always tell that it's not so, just a put on. It's something you do earnestly and and genuinely that you really love it when people come visit you and I'm sorry I haven't done it more than I have and I'll try to improve on that I'll, I'll give it a go uh, but <laughs> but anyway it's just it, it's it's nice to know that when you come over to somebody's house they're going to give their all and and I will try to do better than that than I have been doing in the past it, uh, I always appreciate it whenever you know that I'm having troubles, and, and this time it was a financial trouble because I lost my job, and it was something that um, was making me very ill at ease and my about any visit from anyone who, and you'll listen to them, whatever problems they may have, it's something that, that we know that we can depend on. You're somebody we can talk to. And um, I am very grateful to you for that. And getting back to the, uh, the part about letting me cut your grass or do other jobs in your yard. Um, you know, I've, when I've lost my job, I, my wife was not very happy with me. And, and she even stopped talking to me for a long, long time. And it really helped for me to come, to be able to come over here and, and you know, make a little bit of money. And uh, you were very instrumental in helping us financially. Uh, we, did, we haven't lost our house yet, so it must But anyway, I'm very grateful to you for that. You're also very generous. You have a generosity in spirit, and that's something that is very rare in this world. People generally don't have that anymore. Um, you can, I know you don't own a computer and you don't get on, and, but I, I read stories uh, about whatever, and then I, I look at the comments and the hateful nature of people uh, on those comments. It makes me sad, and that's uh, that is the opposite of what you are. You are something that people can get a boost from. Something that people can get um, something they need, and I think that we're all just a little bit lacking in that. But you don't seem to have that that problem that other people have. But anyway. Uh, Everything you've done for me, I'll never be able to repay you. I'll, I'll always be grateful. And uh, and I just thank you very much. I love you. Hi, Sybil. Just wanted to say happy 90th birthday. Tell you how much we love you. It's wonderful having you for a mom. Happy, happy birthday. birthday! Hi, Sybil. Hey, Sybil. This is Charles and, and Tammy. Tammy here, and mm -hmm. Franklin and Leo. We just wanted to wish you a happy 90th birthday. Happy 90th birthday. And let you know how much you mean to us and how much we love you. We've had so much fun over the years, Sybil. Yeah. And you were just a, such a wonderful person. Oh, yeah. Um, all the trips that you and my dad took after y'all got married and mm -hmm. the trip to Israel and all the trips with all the other seniors and... and um, how everyone has been so wonderful to my dad mm -hmm. at uh, at uh, McDonough Road, and um, yeah. and all the m memories we had on Sanibel yeah. trips and Myrtle Beach trips, and oh, such a good time! Always a better time when you were there. That's right. And uh, the wonderful Scrabble game nights, and mm -hmm. so many good memories, and. Uh, 
you just have shown so much love and care for others and um, I can remember my dad always telling us when he saw you out on the golf course you'd wave at him and while he was sitting on the front porch and that just meant more to him than you could That's right. know and uh, you reached out to Brandon and his family and that was just so kind thank and you thank yeah. you and they really that meant a lot to them and uh, you're just very special. We just wanted to say happy birthday, 90th birthday. Wow, what a milestone. And you're definitely my inspiration. And I That's look right. up to you very, very much. We love you, Sybil. Love you. Happy birthday, Mimi. I wanted to send along my best wishes and congratulate you on your special day. I was asked to come up with my favorite memory of you and was really having a difficult time because uh, there's just too many great memories. I couldn't pick just one. All the birthday parties, uh, the first airplane trip I went on, the driving me to piano lessons and dance class. You've just been such an ingrained part of my life. I, there's no way I could pick just one. So I want to let you know that I'm so proud to be able to call you my grandmother. You have been a friend. You've been a confidant. You've been my biggest supporter. And I love you dearly for all of that. So once again, happy birthday. I'm so glad I got to spend this special day with you celebrating. Love you. Hey, Sybil. Just wanted to say happy birthday and to tell you how much I love you and what you mean to me and to my family. You're a great mom to me and a great grandma to my kids. And um, we just love spending time with you and going to your house and, and being together as a family. And I enjoy going out to eat with you. I can always depend on you to count my Diet Cokes for me. But anyway, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday and to tell you I love you and um, just happy birthday. Hey, Sybil. Well, it's the occasion of your 90th birthday. So first and foremost, happy birthday. But I also wanted to stop and just tell you how much I value you, how much I appreciate you, how much I love you. You know, all my life I've heard people make jokes about in-laws and mother-in-laws in particular. And every time I hear that, I just realize how blessed I am. And in my case, how doubly blessed I am. You know, I guess technically I am a stepson-in-law. But I've never felt that way. I've always felt like just one of your kids. You call us your bonus kids, but it just feels natural. You've taken care of us. You've loved us. You've encouraged us. And you've been there for us. You've been a grandmother to my children, a mom to me and to Lauren. Hey, I just want to tell you from my heart how much I love you. Thank you so much for being there for us, for making us a part of your family, and for being a part of our family. We love you. Happy birthday. Say